Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while again uh, since my last upload. I mean, I'm struggling to uh, upload frequently because of reasons. But yeah, I really want to get into the process of uh, uploading every week. But I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll keep trying though. Let's see where it goes. So today I'm starting a new series where I will be reviewing some of the best keyboard applications on Android. I'm starting off with Gboard. Uh, I have made a list of these apps already. Right now I'm testing them and uh, using them as my daily driver, uh, you know, to review in detail. Uh, I'll be releasing videos for the rest of the applications in coming weeks. So there are two main factors I took into consideration before I put them in my best list. Number one is uh, the typing experience the keyboard offers and how fast can I type. Also, I looked into the reviews uh, by uh, users on App Store uh, to get a gist of uh, what features they really like and what aspects of the application do they expect to improve. Today, I am uh, uh, reviewing uh, the Google's own keyboard application, Gboard. It was just a Google keyboard initially, but after integrating Google search engine and introducing new features like GIF and emoji search, they rebranded it as Gboard. There are numerous features available. I'll talk about the ones I really dig and uh, briefly highlight others. So let's get started. Diving into the layout, it is a medium sized white themed keyboard with a well placed and spaced letters. Even though most of the keyboards look the same, the feel when you type is definitely different. With the key press sound and vibrations on, it kind of gives me a feel of good grip to my fingers on the keyboard. It comes with decent themes. I usually use a white, gray or a black theme. It also gives an option to put your own custom backgrounds. When you're typing in a single hand on a big screen, it is always difficult to reach the other end of the screen. So resizing the keyboard becomes necessary. With Gboard, for the ease of typing, you can move the keyboard either to the left or to the right. You can also adjust the size of the already aligned keyboard. Now, uh, the another aspect of the keyboard that I look into is how fast can I type with minimal errors. Gboard does an excellent job in correcting misspelled words, hence I can type fast with hardly any misspells. Even uh, the gesture typing, it works flawlessly and its performance is on par with that of Swift keyboard. Coming to the predictive text feature, uh, it is something that the keyboard learns from your previous conversations and uh, accordingly gives you next word suggestions. Well, I hardly use it, but when I do, I just use it to fill in the obvious words in a conversation. Now, uh, let's talk about some of the unique features Gboard has got to offer. Number one is Googling right from your keyboard. Uh, now, you can just tap the G icon on the top left corner to start your search. The benefit of having a search engine built in, in, the, built in right in the keyboard is that it is easier to share your search results. This comes in handy when you want to share a business address, uh, flight timings, uh, news articles, restaurant information, and more. There is no need to launch a separate app to dig up that information. In addition, you get few other options when you tap on the G icon. One is Google Translate, which they have embedded right into the app. I think this is an amazing feature. Here, as you type, it directly translates into the language of your choice. Going to the next feature, this one is for editing messages. Let's say you have a big conversation going on in your message box, and you want to move around to edit. On a smartphone screen, it is always difficult to do it and it's straight up irritating. So here you have a small tool where you can use these arrow keys to move around to edit the conversation. You can select and do the usual cut copy paste wherever needed. Another new feature that Google has added to the keyboard is GIF and emoji search. Now instead of scrolling, you can just do a search for the emoji you want. Talking about GIFs, they have become a part of keyboard's culture now. The whole concept of reaction GIFs is subtly reshaping how people communicate allowing for the silent but dynamic injection of mood or humor into a conversation. From the user's point of view, I wanted to highlight a few more features. One of them is voice typing feature. If your preferred mode of text entry is by speech, you can use this feature. But I hardly use it though, because uh, whenever I talk, I tend to hang on to some words and repeat them, and then you have to deal with punctuations and all, it's, it's annoying for me. I think we are not there yet when it comes to using only voice features. Another thing is uh, Gboard supports over 120 languages, which is impressive. Now here, I cannot comment about the typing experience in other languages, but I did try typing in my mother language. It, uh, it did a fairly good job. In the end, it's a great keyboard. It offers a pleasant typing experience, and it does an excellent job in the space of uh, gesture typing, correcting words, and giving next post suggestions. I don't see any major drawbacks, but I think they can give a relook at gesture controls. 
apart from that it is just fine i mean i would highly recommend it i'll also leave the link for this app down in the description you can check it out so that's been it guys thank you so much for watching let me know if you have any comments see you soon